Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint different skin tones for acrylic and oil. So we're starting off with burnt sienna. The first thing you have to remember is that this color is very transparent. It just glides through the canvas very smoothly and I wouldn't use this without doing some layering. I'm now adding some unbleached titanium to it to lighten the base color. Now this works very well for portraits with darker skin tones. I'm just showing you how light you can go. You can also use this for a lighter skin tone. Keep using more unbleached titanium or titanium white to see the possibilities of skin tones you can get to create more values. Next we are using burnt umber. This is a bit darker than the burnt sienna. Again not as transparent as burnt sienna but not opaque either. This is what I use for the very dark skin tones and it is a good idea to mix it with unbleached titanium as well. You could also try mixing it with titanium white but that is too pale for my liking. Now just remember, you don't have to mix these colors exactly the way I do. You can mix and match and try different options and see what you like. Go as pale as you like or as dark as you want. Moving on, I'm using Portrait Pink by Daler Ronnie Graduate Acrylics. This is one of my favorites when it comes to painting skin tones. It is perfect when used in combination with burnt sienna or burnt umber or even some scarlet tones. Now other brands also make this color but you will see that there is a bit of a difference when you compare them. This second one that I'm using is Portrait Pink by Camel Artists Acrylics. This is slightly more pinkish when compared to the other one. Now you need not really buy Portrait Pink by two different brands. You can choose to buy any and make it work by mixing with other colors. I like to mix Portrait Pink with Burnt Sienna often. You also get Portrait Pink by Liquitex Basics which is almost the same as Dailarani Graduate Acrylics. Now you could also use Portrait Pink mixed with Unbleached Titanium which gives you those pale colors so you could use uh, whichever portrait pink you want. I'm just showing you how it looks when mixed with portrait pink by Dilleroni and portrait pink by Camel Artist Acrylics. The last one I'm using is Yellow Ochre. Now this might be too yellow for some artists but it is a color I use when I'm making portraits with certain lighting to create certain effects. So don't rule it out and learn how to mix it with certain other colors. You could uh, lighten it with unbleached titanium and you could use it with burnt sienna or burnt umber or even scarlet and just try out different options and see what you like. So there you have it, yellow ochre, unbleached titanium, portrait pink, another portrait pink, 
burnt sienna and burnt amber. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos every week.